Hello friends, our next experiment is assembly of footstep bearing. Okay, so this is first initial point. So there are total five number of parts. So I suggest you before beginning this tutorial, you should have hard copy of this drawing so that you can easily understand the dimensions and the process of this drawing. Okay. So <coughs> Total five number of parts are there. Again, like a previous example of expansion joint, you can find some similarity to draw the objects in this. Okay, so if you observe clearly, the disc, shaft, and the bush, these and some part of the body is irregular cylindrical component. So this you can draw by using revolve boss command. Revolve the boss command. Okay. Only difference is that. This part and this part are hollow part, but disc and shaft are solid parts. Okay, so axis must be on the same line for the solid parts. Pin is a cylindrical component. You can draw by using extrude boss command with cylindrical base. Okay, so this is how the object is going to fit. First body is there, and that body pin will be there. And pin and disc will be going to fix with the at this bottom. Then bush is going to fit here, okay. and the shaft is. So the most important thing in this is this sung recess and sung part. It is a male female part is there. This we are going to draw at the last of the tutorial. Okay, once all the parts have been drawn at the last, I'm going to draw this. Okay, or okay. Let us see. Let us see how. And the tutorial goes based on that we can draw this okay. so is it clear so first thing i'm going to draw is body you can see the assembly of all the components this is our final drawing okay. so number of parts are less and this is a very easy assembly to draw only thing is that we have to take care while drawing this curve okay and this curve so first part we are going to draw is a body. The body, if you observe the review, view, it is having a rectangular base and then it is having cylindrical surface on its top. Okay, so first we are going to draw this rectangular base. And you can extrude, we are going to draw these four holes on that extruded surface, and afterwards we can draw this cylindrical part. So for that, I will choose top plane for sketching. Make it normal to the surface. Okay. Draw a center rectangle. Always take a symmetry about the origin so that we can make a symmetric object. Place this rectangle. Okay. Now, what are the dimensions? Okay. Of one of the and its length is. Four hundred is two hundred. Okay. This is the Now we can extrude the balls. We can extrude in a reverse direction, having thickness about eighteen mm. Thickness about eighteen mm. Then, on this surface, I want to draw slot. Okay, so I will make this surface as a sketch and make it normal with the surface. Now here is a slot command. Okay, here I can enter a slot. This and draw slot. Okay. So there is no need to draw for slot at four different locations. We have to use mirror command to draw this. So always remember. We have to draw mirror command. So to draw mirror command, we must have axis. Okay, so I have drawn an axis like this. Then we have to define the dimension. So this is radius is diameter is 15. So radius will be 7.5. The diameter from horizontal edge or the distance from the horizontal edge is 30. Central <coughs> Sorry. 
distance, central distance from the vertical edge is twenty eight. So distance from this point to this point is a 20. Okay, radius is 7.5. So this distance becomes 15. So distance between center to center is 5. Understood? So now I will use mirror entities command. So entities to mirror is this mirror about this point. I said okay. Again, I will use another entity. Entities to mirror is equal to this mirror about this one. Okay. I can delete this line. I can sketch. Extrude the cut. When I get up to the next, like this, we get four poles. Now, so the base part is over now. This part is over. Next thing is to the next thing is to draw this part, which is a cylindrical part. This is a cylindrical part. Okay. So to draw this, I have to use the wall boss command again. I have to draw one side of that sketch only so that I can get a revolve. Okay. So initially neglect this sun recess part. Okay. You have to draw a sketch like this. So draw that sketch. The sketch must be passed through the center or the plane must pass through the center. So you have to identify the plane. Since I have taken the radius, since I have taken the radius, since I have taken the center from the origin, the main reference planes are passing through the center. So I can choose this plane as a drawing plane. See, I have to draw a cylindrical sur surface like this. Okay, on this surface, I have to choose either right plane or front plane or any vertical plane which is passing through the center. Okay, since I have to draw. I am choosing your front plane. Sketch normal to the plane like this. So first thing I will do is I will draw axis. So if your sketch is not at the origin. Okay. So you can choose the midpoint like this. You can draw axis. And once you observe the axis passing to the origin or center. Again, and make it normal. And then, again, just to draw part. Okay. So draw this. It is touching to the base plate. Like this. So it is having fillet at this end and this end. It is already 6 mm. So that we are going to draw after revolving the compound. Now we have to give the dimensions. Okay. So what is the height? This is 60. Height is 60. This portion is up to 15 mm. This portion is up to 15 mm. Okay. This automatically become, will become 40. Okay. So that we have to define the dimensions of the internal diameter. Six thirty five point five. Outer diameter is 94, half of 94 is 30, 39. Now, same diameter is defined here also. So, this is 68 means 34, and this is 64. Next, sorry, 34. So, like this, we are going to. Draw. So all this, all the sketch has been fully defined. 
can you cannot add the dimensions here now so after you draw the sketch make it exit from sketch which command you use now revolve the box so after you revolve the box you are able to see the box like this so this is after revolving you are able to see so you want to see the section again Sketch material like this, which is similar like our object. Define. There is no part missing in this. Only thing is missing is we have to add this fillet here and here. So add a fillet of 6 mm radius at this place. Fillet of 6 mm and here fillet. Almost all parts are covered. Now, if you observe the diagram, there is a pin hole at the center axis, horizontal axis. What is the dimension? It is having diameter of 4 mm and deep 6 mm. This is the hole for the pin, which is called the pin hole. So, for that, you have to select this space, make it sketch, make it normal to the plane. You want to make it normal to the plane, draw a circle which should be in line with the horizontal line. Don't forget to draw a line. Don't forget to draw a circle in line with this. Okay, so this is the circle. What is the dimension? We have a diameter of diameter four mm. Okay. What is central distance? This is fifteen millimeters. Now use the strip cut command is having depth of 6 mm. And from this view, the section view is able to see this whole of 6 mm depth. This is the object which should be drawn. So in a drawing, there is a <coughs> fillet given for this edge and this is also. You can enter the fillet for that. So enter three mm fillet, six mm fillet. Making six mm fillet is becoming just change that fillet into three. So this is the body. Now what part is left is sun recess. Okay, how to draw the sun recess? You have to draw one cylindrical slot, cylindrical shape slot straight into this edge. So this is final part here which is going to draw. How to draw that? First you have to select the surface. Make it normal to the surface. Okay, we are going to draw one construction. Okay. So first there is one circle which is having internal diameter equal to the diameter of that part and this is another circle. And then Just make this line fix smart smart dimension 68. This diameter is plus 3 mm. 